wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Hey, what's up? It's Jeff, exclamation point here again. I am at Epcot today. Now, the point of me coming here to Epcot is not to partake in the Food and Wine Festival, uh, not to ride any rides, but literally just to walk. I am in need of some exercise, so I am here to walk. Uh, right now, step-wise, I'm at around 900 steps for the day, which is not a lot. Uh, let's see if I can uh, bump that up some. So let's go on a walk. Before we do this, apparently the new Magic Bands are in. So we're gonna go take a look, see if we can find any. So here they are, here are the new ones. And there are some of the options that they have. Oh, this one's super cute. Oh, that means family. Oh, that's adorable. And let's see what the price is. So, no prices, typical Disney. Up one. Oh, this is cute with aliens on it. Then you got the cool one here with Mickey Mouse. Castle. Yeah, this looks pretty cute. And apparently it uh, interacts with the whole park. Yeah, I, I got the new Magic Band. And this is the cool one. It has all the, the rainbow and Mickey's in the middle. So uh, let's unbox this real fast. After the annual pass holder discount, this came to a little over $38. It's expensive. Uh, they said it had a day's worth of charge in it so I could use it today. And uh, there's a charger that comes in the box. And let's see here. Oh yeah, there's like, this is the back. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. So it definitely has a charger. And there's your magic band, and that just slid right out there. And you see in the back, that is the charging port right there. So I am going to add this to the My Disney Experience app and see if I can get this thing up with a little charge. So here's the charger, and it just fits on like that. There we go. They said there's like enough charge for a day. I don't know. But let's pull up the My Disney Experience app. We're going to add the Magic Band to my account. And yeah, then we'll put it on and see if it works. So I got everything linked into my account. And it actually has kind of the battery level here on the, the Magic Band. Pairing it was really easy to do. And it even lit up and it vibrated. So yay for that. So I have a little bit of a charge that should last for the rest of the day and we'll go around and play with this a little bit, see what it does, and from there um, do a lot of walking. Let's have a fun day. So I am very aware I just got into Epcot, but I am now leaving Epcot. I am headed out of the gates by, uh, where am I, between France and England. They have a little park exit here. This is where you hop on the Skyliner. You can go to Disney's Hollywood Studios from here. But I have heard that there is a walking trail to get to the Hollywood Studios. And I'm gonna see if I can find it. It's absolutely crazy that the uh, Skyliner is actually one of my favorite attractions here at Disney. And you don't even actually need a park ticket to ride it. It's insane. I think it's an amazing form of transportation that I was completely opposed to whenever they were building it because I didn't understand it until I rode it. But today is walk, and the goal is to completely sweat through the Dark Queen's auction. Oh my goodness, gang, look at this place. This place is just gorgeous. Look at how cool this bridge is. I don't think I've ever walked across these bridges, ever. And this is at the Swan and Dolphin, and I'm already starting to sweat, which is what I'm wanting. Oh, by the way, uh, what I'm wearing, these are the Ray-Ban stories. I'm gonna do a whole video on these because I've had them for a while. Basically, these take still photos, 30 second videos, but what I primarily use it for is listening to music. Right now, I'm listening to Encanto. I have also never seen that boardwalk sign. I've never come over here. In the years I've lived in Florida, I have never walked this way, so this is kind of cool. Now this is just something really cool. If you look all the way up at that clamshell, 
there's actual water. It's like a water fountain up there. That is so cool. Well, hey, I found the walkway. It's just, uh, it's on the other side of the lake there, which is perfectly okay because I am here to walk. I pretty much have circled the entire Swan Resort here. Now I'm gonna go back over to that fun little bridge, cross over, and then walk over. This is actually a lot of fun for me because these are places I've never been here at Disney. And I love exploring. It's just kind of fun. And once you've lived here for a while and you're done with the rides, you don't really like spending money for the food. You just come here and explore. It's a lot of fun. All right, so we got the boardwalk over here, service vehicles over here, and now is the little walking path with the sign leading us to the Hollywood Studios. Yay, here we go. So if you remember when I started, I was at 900 steps. Currently, I am at just under 6,000. How many steps do you think I'm gonna do today? Cause I'm walking all the way over there. My plan is to walk all the way back, do another lap of Epcot. That's the idea right now. We're gonna see what weather does. But leave a, a comment below. What do you think? How many steps am I gonna do by the end of this? All right, going down the path. And look over there, it's the Disney's Hollywood Studio. And gang, this was not a bad walk at all. It was actually very nice, very enjoyable, and no one's, I've only saw like two families on this whole walking trail. Don't be afraid to walk from Epcot to the Disney's Hollywood Studios. Uh, on busy days, it's probably quicker to do this than to hop in the Disney transportation. But one day, I will come here, ride the Skyliner over, and then walk back to the Skyliner and just see what is quicker. That'll happen in a future video. Not today. Today is just about walking. So this is where it pretty much dropped us off at, where the Skyliner takes off and the bus stops are. So now we're at the Disney's Hollywood Studios. I think we should take a lap around the park. What do you think? Oh, and right now the music playing in my ears is Beetlejuice the Musical. All right, I'm in line to scan my ticket into Hollywood Studios. Let's see if the uh, Magic Band does anything. Mm -hmm. Nah, it didn't do anything special. $38 well spent. Well, we'll go around and see if there's any statues or something to uh, wave my hand in front of. All right, the watch started vibrating. Anything? No? It's, it's just vibrating, that's about it. Oh, but lights are flashing. So I got that. Oh, there's the music. Yay! Part of the $38 well spent. You were vibrating. You got lights flashing right now. But no music. Eh. I am now heading into Toy Story Land. And with the sun beating in my eyes, I am over 7,000 steps now. Here we go. We got Toy Story Land. Looking just as crowded and tacky as ever. All right, we are coming out of Toy Story Land. The music has changed, and around the corner, we are in Galaxy's Edge. Yay! Let's walk through this, get out of here, and start heading back to Epcot. What do you guys say? Well, you want to walk around Galaxy's Edge a little? Huh, maybe we'll do a little bit. Doesn't look too crowded in here. I've seen it much, much worse. We finally made it out of Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, I had a lot of people try to run me over. A lot of strollers. People are vicious. Anyways, here I am in the Muppet area. We are basically just going to head out of this park. Oh yeah, stepwise, I am at 9,300 steps. So I've just walked past the 50s Primetime Diner, and then the Hollywood and Vine Buffet, and I'm headed back to the main street of Disney's Hollywood Studios in which we're going to exit. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to take the time whenever I exit the turnstile, walk back to Epcot, and then I'm going to look at the time of when I get to the gates of Epcot. And then from there, just get an idea of how long it's going to take to do that walk. 
All right, here we go through the exit. Take care. And the time right now is 6.20. I am currently at 9,800 and well, let's just say 9,900 steps. And we'll see where I am whenever I get to the gates of Epcot. And gang, I'm starting to wear out, so this is good. You remember that sign? Here we are, back in the boardwalk. Ugh, all right, I'm starting to sweat up a storm. The goal was to saturate the Darkwing Duck shirt, making that happen. And now we're just going to walk over to Epcot via the boardwalk now. If you've never been over here, this place is pretty amazing. We're walking past the Atlantic Dance Hall. I have gone to many a party in that facility right there. But this is the boardwalk right here. And basically, we're walking all the way around. And then the entrance to Epcot is down over there. But if you remember, we walked all of that getting to the walkway to the Hollywood Studios. So we're basically just making one giant circle. Oh, great. Look at the sky. All right, rain might be coming. I might be cutting this a little shorter than planned. Here we go to the entrance of Epcot Center. Oh, that's not Epcot, that's just a tree. But beyond this tree is actually the entrance of Epcot. So let's go in, scan our new magic band, and we will see how long this walk took in just a second. Well, that time Mickey lit up and started vibrating. So yay for that. $38 well spent. It is 6.46. So it took me 26 minutes to walk from the exit of Disney's Hollywood Studios all the way to the entrance of Epcot. But now I can tell you my joints are starting to kick in because around me a giant storm is forming. So I'm going to call this one short and start walking to the exit. My first time ever with Magic Pan Plus. Uh, it is a cool little gimmick. It's fun, every now and then you walk past the golden statue. What I have learned, because I did a few of these off camera, is when you're near something that's interactive, it starts vibrating. You enter it, wave your hand, there's a long vibration and then something magical happens. Usually it's music that plays and then your watch starts lighting up. It's a cute gimmick. To me, it's Disney's answer to Universal's Wizarding World of Harry Potter magic wand. So it's something interactive and magical in the park. I'm excited to come back here and try it out with fireworks and see how all that goes. But today was about walking and I did a lot of it. So. Total steps before I actually get to the parking lot. Uh, today was 13,930, so I started with 900 steps, so I did 13,030 steps. That's not including going to the parking uh, lot and back, so there we go. Lots of walking. I'm going to go home, I'm going to shower, get something nice and healthy to eat, and possibly start editing this video. Yeah, that's my plans for the rest of the day. But I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you like and subscribe. And everyone, have a great day, morning, evening. I'll see you next time. Bye. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be.